All right, guys, so really super excited. We've got Shalene on the call, um, and she is our upline. We look up to her. She's so inspiring. She's incredible. I would not be anywhere I'm on this journey without this woman. I usually don't make it through these calls without crying. So just if you have tissues, make sure you have them near you. No. <laughs> um, we get a little cheesy sometimes. But um, she's definitely amazing, and um, we're really excited to have her and appreciate her valuable time that she's um, pouring into our team today. So, uh, yeah, Shaleen, welcome. So, thanks, you guys. You good? Okay. Um, okay, thank you guys for having me on your call. Um, for those of you who maybe don't know me so well. Um, I'm usually with Jer as well, my husband, and we've been coaches for two years now. Um, Jer is three-star diamond coach. Um, right now we are going for five-star diamond on his account and two-star diamond on my account, um, which is, we're actually really, really close right now. Um, and it's, yeah, it's crazy cool just to see how much growth there's happening on the team. And there's weeks where I feel like we are miles and miles away from this goal. And then there's weeks like today and you wake up and you're like, oh my gosh, like we could be going into qual on Thursday. Like it's, it's just crazy how I feel like you're like this all the time in coaching. And so I really wanted to jump on here with you guys because you guys are really building something pretty cool. Um, and I'm really loving seeing this team emerge out of our team. And that is all of you. Collectively, you guys are building your own brands, but inside of that, you're building a really strong team as well. And I really just wanna first and foremost commend you guys for all the work that you have done. Um, and the amount, like I get to have like a sneak peek into your groups and a sneak peek into your chats and to see the support and the way that the dynamic that you guys have and the way you support each other and inspire each other and lift each other up is really amazing. And know that not all teams have that. You don't get that everywhere. You don't get that with other companies as much. You don't get that within this company all the time. Um, and there are a lot of incredible teams, don't get me wrong, but I think what you guys are building is something really special and something to really be proud of. So I asked, I was talking with Shaw and I actually asked her if, can you say hi? This is my daughter, AJ. Hi, Mario. This is hi, Mario. AJ, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> it's a me, a Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually just asked if I could pop on here with you guys because you guys are making waves on our team. And I want to get to know a little bit more about where you guys are at right now. Um, and I want to help you guys all level up to that next step, whatever that is for you, wherever you are at in your business. What would you like to tell them? I lost my first two. She lost what? her tooth. That's crazy. <laughs> the tooth fairy is going to come. Okay. The tooth fairy Where is it? Where's the tooth? I lost it the other day. The tooth fairy. Exciting. So I really want to connect with you guys and just kind of see where you are at um, and how I can help you to get past whatever fear or doubt or worry maybe you have right now or wherever you're kind of feeling stuck. And this will happen in your business time and time again. You will grow. You have this period of growth and then you get comfortable and then you feel like, what's going on? Like something's just not right. And it's because you're comfortable. And that is the time where it's, we're right. We're like, okay, I'm done with that time to level up again. And oftentimes what we're doing is we're just putting these glass ceilings on ourselves and these glass ceilings are doubt and worry and limiting beliefs that we don't even know that we have until we start to talk about it or until we start listening to other people's stories about, oh my gosh, I feel that way too wait, what, you feel that way? Like it's not all butterflies and rainbows over there all the time. And I really just want to have this be a little bit more of an open forum um, instead of me just talking at you guys and really allow you to unmute yourself, open, speak freely, 
um, know that I really just want to help you one, identify what is the goal you're going for and two, how do we get there? Three, what is the thing that's going to hold you back? And if we can identify those three things, I promise you, we can move your business forward to get you to that goal that you want to have. And maybe that is a rank. Maybe that is an income goal. Maybe, maybe that's just saving for a family vacation. One day it'll happen again. Um, whatever that might be for you guys, I really just want you to identify what that is because without it, you're not going to have anything pushing you to run your business. If you don't have a goal, if we aren't striving towards things, we aren't going to show up for our business. So let's identify what, re what you really want out of this. Not what we're telling you you should want, um, but what you really want out of this. So um, I'm going to pass it over, Shaw. I don't know if you want to say anything else on that or if we just want to kind of open it up. I'll open the floor if anyone wants to go ahead or if you want me to start, I'm happy to do that too. I can be... Why don't we start with you, Shaw? Why don't we see where, what's your vision? Yeah. Okay. First of all, I love every single one of you guys. Thank you for putting the time in here because we have some big dreams coming guys and really big goals. And I really believe that every single person on this call is capable of doing some big, serious things. We are on the best team to be doing that. So that being said, um, um, my goal would be to be, so Kaylee and I were talking about it. Like I was shooting for three star, but then she's pushing me. She's like, shut up. You could do four star by August. Like you totally got this, like mapping it out. And I do, I can definitely do that. Uh, my, what's setting me back from doing that is just not owning my day enough, finding the right gaps because without having the right plan in place, um, you kind of feel scattered. And when that happens, uh, I kind of lose where my momentum is. So, you know, owning my morning will help me get there. And definitely my coaches meeting their goals will obviously help me get there. Um, so I need to focus not only on coaching my girls. I find that sometimes I spend a lot more time coaching than working on my own business to be very transparent with you. So uh, moving forward, I'm going to start working on my own business and, and I'm still going to pour everything into my coaches, but I really got to find like, you know, a uh, happy medium where we can all work together to, to do that. So that's, that's for me. I think I answered all the questions there. And, and my motivator yeah. is honestly to quit my corporate job and be at home with Jax full time because even being at home on the computer working all day, you can ask Kaylee, we usually talk all day and everything. And like, I am not, I have no time. I don't really see Jax or anything. So that is my motivator. I love it. Um, and you hit on some really key points there that I think everyone can kind of pull from. Um, one, four star by August. Yes, please. Um, that can totally happen. And so you guys know dates. Summit for Beachbody is the annual event that happens and that happens in July. In order to qualify to be a certain rank by Summit, you have to enter your last week of qualification on April 30th. So just keep that in your mind. If you want to be diamond, if you want to be one star, if you want to be two star, the first week, you have to qualify for six weeks. The first week is April 30th. Okay. So that's when week one starts and then you hold that for six weeks and whatever you are at the end of those six weeks is what you're um, recognized at for summit in terms of rank. So just so you know, dates and kind of how we throw things out there. Um, there is another really cool event that is happening and we shared it the other day in the fam jam empire team page it's a virtual retreat that's happening with the top coaches trainers are doing um like never before seen workouts they've got some incredible speakers that are coming it's a three-day virtual uh retreat that's happening in june and again that's something that you have to be diamond for so just consider some of that when you're thinking of rank um, but something that you touched on that I think is very important is time management. And this is like massive for anybody. This yeah. is not something that is like your sole job for most of us, right? Most of us have something else going on, whether it be kids, mom life, whether it be something else, corporate job. And managing your time effectively is going to be the number one thing that has to get controlled if you want to move it forward. So that is a big one. I love that you're working on that. Um, and 
personal development is another really big thing you touched on in the morning, like really owning your morning. I really encourage you guys to do personal development. And I'm actually going to ask all of you, um, if you're reading a book or if you are, if you have a podcast that you're listening to right now, and if you're not, we're going to talk about the limiting belief that you have and hopefully recommend something based on that limiting belief. Um, lastly, not managing the team. So I am going to back Shaw up on this for a second. Um, I am on her more than anybody else to stop managing the team and she hates it <laughs> and it's uncomfortable. And what I mean by that is when you start building a team and you start having coaches on your team, when people are asking you questions, we will likely send you a link to a video to go find the answer or a link to a PDF to go find the answer, or here's the training. This is where you can find it. Go to your coach office and search under FAQs, giving you direction on how you can be resourceful in your own business. And that's how you're going to empower your coaches to find the information. Because when you have a team of 100, 200 coaches, you cannot answer all those questions individually. You have to have the tools and resources at hand to be able to like, here's the link, go check it out. And not that that's a bad thing at all. It's just recognizing how you bring your team on from the beginning. And this is important for everyone as a leader, as you're building your business, your coaches are going to do what you do. And so if you are giving them your time 100% of the day and not focusing on building your business, Every single coach is going to expect that, but then those coaches, as they come on, they are going to do that with their coaches. And unfortunately, everyone gets stuck in managing and you don't grow. And that's where you'll see, I hit diamond. Oh my gosh, I'm going for one star. Oh my gosh, I'm going for two star. And then halts. And then you're like, whoa, what happened? Like we were on a roll. What happened? We've been there. We've done it like five times in two years. And you just get on this roll and then all of a sudden it stops because you stopped working on growing your business. And so for all of you, I want you to know that that is so important just to make sure that you continue to grow. Only 20% of your time, and we're talking about time management, should be on your team. The rest of your time should be on your social media, providing value, making content, and connecting with new people that's through invites and on social media, liking, commenting, replying to stories, all that good stuff. So just keep that in mind um, as you're growing your team. And the sooner you can get that going, that like 20, 80 balance, the better it will be for you and your team. Um, and I know that that, I feel like that's a really hard one because as soon as you have a coach come onto your team, you feel responsible for their success. And when you feel responsible for their success, you feel like you owe them more of your time in order for them to be successful. And that's not the case. We're in this together. There's so many incredible tools and resources that we get from our upline that we have to take advantage of and give to all of you. And you need to pass on to your coaches as they come on to. So just know that um, if you see a shift in Shaw in the amount that she's like managing or the amount that she is maybe connecting or taking a little bit of time to get back to you guys, a lot of that is just a whole, it's a learning curve, right? And it's a learning curve for all of us. Um, oh my gosh, look at all these podcasts. I love these. All right. So that's that. Thank you. I think that's totally doable. Um, I think you guys have, so does anybody on here not know what four star diamond is or how you get there? Okay. So when you are a diamond coach, you have to be a diamond coach first, then you can become star diamonds. So every time you produce a diamond on your team, that becomes a one star. So if you have one diamond on your team, that's one star. If you have two, two star, three, three star, four, so on and so forth. It does have to balance out on legs. So there is a little bit of like just strategy in terms of balancing people out on your legs. But essentially, when you're creating a diamond on your team, you're helping one of your coaches go diamond, you have the opportunity to be one, two, three, four, five star diamond. So that means four of you that are on Shaw's team going diamond would put her into four star diamond. 
And that's collective. That's not Shaw being four star diamond. Like that's the team. That's a collective goal. Um, so that means four of you have to want it. Cause if four of you don't want it, that means that she's going out and looking for more people that want that goal specifically. And that's okay if you don't want it. Um, but it's really just identifying where's everybody else at. If that vision is one that's doable, right. Um, which I feel like it is because I've talked to a lot of you already. Um, okay, Kaylee, I'm going to pick on you. <laughs> I totally saw it coming. I was prepared. I knew you did. Um, don't make this long winded. Okay. Um, so <laughs> sum it up here. Girls. No. So I am hoping to qualify qualify for one star diamond starting April 30th. And like, guys, if you think that I'm like on the cusp of it and I'm really close, you're wrong. I mean, I'm close, but I'm going to have to work my ass off. It is, you know, like I am so driven that I just do that. So to do that, obviously I have to be diamond, which you guys know I am. And I have to have someone else diamond. Well, I don't have like a huge working coach. Um, categories right now but what I do have is my husband's account so what I'm doing with his account is I'm taking it diamond and I'm making myself one star diamond along with of course my, my emerald coaches um, to be diamond you have to have some emerald coaches with you so um, and I have a few of those and they're working really hard at making those diamonds so I'm really proud of my team for that um, if we're gonna talk the year if when I see the end of 2020 I see being, I would like to be able to duplicate my business. And I believe that's two star, but that's pretty low. So I'm going to say at the end of 2020, I'm going to try to be four star. So I'm really on the hunt for like uh, my people, people that want to work the business with us and partner with the Meltdown Moms as a group. Um, it's not an individual thing as you guys like hear and see it's just not at all so um it's really a team effort so if when these goals hit that means you guys hit these massive goals too and i am waiting for that part because i can't wait to see you guys celebrate hitting diamond because i know how nice it feels <laughs> um what's holding me back uh i don't talk about coaching enough i don't talk about the opportunity enough i uh, I don't, I'm getting my morning routine on point, but I do waste a lot of my time when I should just get to it. When I finally do, it comes off, but I do waste a bit of my time. So for me, putting myself in a time frame where it's like, okay, I have to have that done in my head before 1, 1 p.m. So wherever I can fit in the morning, because, you know, you have got kids. Sometimes you need to be flexible if you can be. So, um... Other holdbacks, just getting in my own head. Like Shaylee was talking about at the start of the call, right? You get this momentum, like it happens with Emerald, right? You get this momentum and you're like, I just want to hit Emerald so damn bad. And then you hit it and then you're like, ah. And then you just kind of sit there for a bit, like enjoying Emerald. And then all of a sudden it's like, either I need to do more or stop or like you kind of get like just stuck in it. Um, so I have had a few moments of being stuck in it. Um, and I'm just going to, put it out there to you guys, you need to reach out to people on the team when that happens, because they're the only ones that can really pull you back in and let you know what's really good. So there's definitely those moments. I just encourage you all to reach out and to reach out to the VIP Meltdown Moms chat um, and the Fam Jam chat. And you know, the Fam Jam, if you're not on the Fam Jam Empire page, you're going to miss a lot because we don't have our own coach page because Shauna can't take on the workload of having our own coach page and part of this is us saying like no we can't do that right like we have to draw the boundaries sometimes and be like there it's just too much so if you guys could really lean into um Shailene and Jer because it worked for me <laughs> like a hundred percent I did the fam jam empire training academy um and i mean it literally worked for me it was what i needed to know and now that's why when people are like how do you know that it's like well i did the training academy so it really helped all your answers are in there so if you haven't done that i really think you should start working at it uh that's it i was really long <laughs> you're perfect it was fine um i love all your goals and like i know you think you're far from one star diamond but you're really not that far um you're so close and like Coming out of this free group, I just have to shout 
Kaylee out for this free group that we're kind of co-leading right now for the 14 day virtual fit fam, because you literally have rocked it. You've shown up with such a force and light and positivity. And I'm going to say thank you from the bottom of my heart, because you really have just stepped up into that space and you have so much potential coming out of that because you were consistent. People saw you every day. You were encouraging. You were positive. They know what they're going to get from you coming out of that. And that is massive. When you can show value and you can show people what to expect from you, that is where you build trust. And you have built so much trust in that space. I have no doubt that over this weekend, as it closes out, you're going you're gonna to see like SC 10, 16, 20 easily honestly. Um, yeah. And like, honestly, you hit SC 20, you're a one-star diamond qual for sure. I mean, it's, it's right around the corner. So I love that, um, four star by the end of the year. That is bomb. That is awesome. And in terms of building up that confidence with coaching, are you reading any personal development or following any podcasts to help you with any of that? Uh, No, I'm sucking all my time into the business. Even when I try to relax, I, all I do is mind spin ideas and posts and I can't disconnect at all. So I, um, have actually just been getting down with my true crime podcast (laughs) to give me some sort of like release. Um, I read this, well, I've not even done it, but I'm really close. It's taken me way too long because I'm, I get it now, I think, because I'm not really like motivated to finish the end of it I understand it I feel like what they're talking about I'm the person going yes with what he's saying I'm not on the other side looking at it from a different perspective so I think I'm very much over this I think it was amazing read though like amazing read this book is what drove me from emerald to diamond in that time is when I was reading it so I think it was well worth my time but um and I think that's something you just hit on where, you're, where we think we don't have time for personal development, but look back to the times where personal development was really prevalent in your life. And I guarantee you that is probably the time where you saw the most growth. And so don't underestimate the power of 15 minutes of personal development every single day. Because 15 minutes of personal development every single day is more powerful than cramming in a book on a weekend. Because you're constantly taking that in and you're taking in one chapter at a time and you're applying whatever you can. And it's just that daily, like slow growth. This it's literally the slight edge of seeing how over time that affects you. So if I would encourage you to try to get back into something, um, a a podcast that I think would be really, really great. And I know you like to like sit on the treadmill or the bike a lot. So even like throw in your headphones if you're on the bike. Um, Brooke Castillo, the life coach school, really good one, but like all the way down to episode one, like start from the bottom. Her first 10 episodes are life. They will help you as a coach. They'll help you personally, but I found they gave me so many tools to be able to help other people and that empowered me and that built my confidence up. So go with something like that. Um, and I think you will start to see that glass ceiling kind of shatter in that area for sure. And you're bomb. Like, I'm just going to tell you that every day you were made for this, made for this. Okay. I love it. Um, who wants to go next? Yes. Brayden. I knew you were going to put your hand up. Can I just say well, it's about time I shared What's up? Um, also, yes, definitely check out my friend's podcast. She's amazing. And she's kind of like the exact same thing. And she also talks about manifestation in there about, you know, creating money, and, you know, money mind and all this stuff and has a bunch of interviews and she's incredible and she's blowing up. So, but um, in terms of me, I don't know the terms. Shaw did tell me uh, diamond though. So I'm going to say diamond, um, but I just actually started getting back in action I guess I was um, ignoring Beachbody <laughs> and uh, not seeing the value in it or not, you know, just uh, being a typical dude in the gym wanting to lift weights and not go home and dance in front of my computer. 
So now that I have done that the last week, the results I've seen are incredible. I love it. I like going on Zoom. I even created my own Zoom call um, with coaches that I have in my self-expression and leadership course. So it's been pretty cool. Um, so I'm seeing the value more and more in it every day. So it's naturally allowing me to want to share it with everyone. So that's been helpful. And uh, with the help of Kaylee as well, inspiring me for sure. I went today in a message, you know, like 26 people. And I've been getting messages back and forth from them. So I've been going back and forth. So something's got to happen, especially the more I've been doing a different video each day too. So I can believe in the product more. So, and um, I was led to a few things on the coach thing. So now I, I have a better understanding on how to share things with people like information and videos. Um, I get kind of overwhelmed by looking in the groups. Um, even like I was looking for the Zoom call to get on this call and I'm just like, where is it? Like, I don't know what groups it in. And so I think um, instead of trying to understand the groups, I avoid them. So that's something else I'm noticing about myself. So it's kind of a lot about like avoidance um, because I'm just unsure of anything moving forward because it's all like a, a dream for me, right? So, but I'm in it, I'm focused. I got, you know, Shaw, she's an amazing coach. I got Kaylee supporting me. I understand that everyone is willing to support each other if I just got to reach out. So um, recognize that community is here for me. And um, yeah, I was really excited a week ago when I thought I was getting a sale and then that the person didn't sign up. So I see where the excitement gets happening and um, I am eager and I'm willing to put my eggs in this basket and just go for it. I love that. Um, and I'm so glad that you have worked through everything that you had to work through. And I think that you had to go through this process to get to where you're at right now and to have this realization of, you know, what you want for the future and what this looks like. Um, and we're totally here for it. And we're here to help and support you, of course, 100% of the way. Um, I love the podcast recommendation and everything that's talked about. That is incredible. Um, so keep doing stuff like that because it totally helps. I love that you took the leadership of running your own Zoom. That's amazing. And what I think you'll find is as you learn how to make this your own, you're going to love it that much more as you step into who you are and you make this yours. That's where the magic happened because this isn't, this isn't about just, we all sell the same thing. Like at the end of the day, we all are promoting the same thing. So why is someone going to buy it from you and not from me? Because they like you and they like your style and they don't like me in my style. They don't like my cheetah print. <laughs> like, I, you, you're gonna have people who just don't love who you are and that's okay. I literally want people to decide if they like me within six seconds of seeing my Instagram. And if they don't buy, I don't want you on my page, but they have to know who you are and you have to show up as you are in order for them to be able to make that decision. And if we aren't being true to who we are, we're not allowing them to make that decision. And then we message them and we're like, well, why aren't they my people? Well, we're not showing up how we actually want to show up. We're showing up how we think other people want us to show up. And then that comes out weird in our messaging and in the DM sometimes. And we're like, why am I not finding these people? And that's kind of where it comes from. And so I love that you took the leadership to do your own Zoom and to kind of make it your own and just like figure this out. Because I think as you start to figure those pieces out, you're just, you're going to be unstoppable. And I really think you're going to find that you are building such a strong community of like-minded individuals alongside you. So I'm really excited to watch that. Um, the organization piece. So let's chat about that even. You know, you guys, I'm, is everyone finding it confusing? Multiple pages, multiple chats. Or is everyone like, is that just kind of a couple people? Jen, Alicia, are you guys confused by it all? Like where to find stuff? Megan, maybe, no? I definitely was at first. Now I have the groove of everything, but I remember when I first signed up, um, it was a lot. Okay. 
Jen, how do you feel finding stuff, information? Does it feel confusing to find information? I'm just trying to find the damn button to make myself talk. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I honestly haven't like dove too far into it. I just like three days ago, I think, looked at the email Shaw sent me with like the schooling and stuff. So I watched like the first five videos and stuff. I'm honestly just a train wreck like every day. I just try and survive my children, but they usually win. <laughs> so I don't know, like as far as goals and whatnot, I honestly don't know right now. Like I have had a few people um, that are interested. I just, um, I, I don't know. I, I struggle with it because I know how much I dislike, you know, like the pyramid thing and some people get so damn pushy and I, I don't want to be that person, but I understand it's, a little different because you're helping people find their own way essentially but I don't know I just haven't dove too far into it I'm just trying to navigate um baby steps I guess I don't know <laughs> I don't know what what's your hope out of like what's your vision in terms of being a coach and what this is going to bring for your family like long term what is your goal for your family with being a coach I think ideally, like, it'd be super sweet just to stay home with the kids and whatnot. I mean, there's a whole bunch of uncertainty right now in the world. And we're, uh, well, like, he works oil field, and I was in the oil field, but they let me go when I was six months pregnant. So really, I don't have anything to go back to when my mat leaves over anyway. So I mean, it would be great for me to kind of ramp up and get shit figured out sooner than later. But yeah, I don't know. And I think that's powerful. And it's, that's something that I would love for you to write down on even a post-it of why you're doing this every single day. Why do you, why do you want this and what's going to drive you? And for me, it actually comes down to oftentimes what's not going to happen if I don't do this. So if I don't show up today, what happens? My kids don't get sports. My kids don't get vacations to Disney. Most of what I do is for my children and for them to have experience and for them to have more than just what we can provide on one salary with Jer. Because this is all that I have. There's no plan B. This is it. Right. Yeah. So and pretty well the same, I said. <laughs> and so just remind yourself of that every day. You know, I actually have a post-it on my desk. It says, choose courage over comfort. And I read it every day. Because I can choose to be comfortable. I can choose to be comfortable. I love to or I can choose to step into comfort and learn and kind of move from it. So some of the things that I would love is personal development 100% um, is there anything that you're reading or listening to right now okay no okay I would so, like I would love to get up before the children and do the morning thing I was just talking to Kaylee about this today yeah. um but I have to do like you know the sleep training with the baby she's not even seven months yet so I think um I don't know I have a bit more time to invest with her before I can fully set up what I want to do. <laughs> I, I find I get uh, pulled away a lot with the kids and then I just kind of write things off in my frustration. So I don't know. <laughs> well, I think that you need to give yourself some grace because you have a baby who needs your, your attention and you are a mama and this is a hard time emotionally going through year one of a baby. It's just yeah. hard. doesn't matter if it's first, second, third. It's hard. Year one is very hard. And so give yourself some grace on that. And don't worry about the morning routine right now. Honestly, throw that idea right out the window. Get your sleep. Because if you're not getting sleep, you're just going to be a disaster all day anyways. And I recommend them anyway. <laughs> it doesn't make a difference. <laughs> get, get your sleep. Um, but like be... You can be flexible with that, but I think the biggest thing, and you can work maybe a little bit more direct with Shaw on this, even like moving after this call, what are the things you're going to do when you do have time? And being really crystal clear about what you're going to do so that when you have 15 minutes where it's like silent and you're like, 
oh my gosh, I can actually go and send invites right now. Who are you going to be inviting? What does your invite say? What are you inviting to? Oftentimes we hold ourselves back because I'm like, well, I don't know what to say to people because what am I going to do if they respond back? <laughs> like, then what do I do? Where do I put them? What, like, <laughs> what's the challenge group? What's the, what am I selling? What, like, if we don't have a plan and we don't have that clear, that clarity of direction, then that is a big, huge block. So I would really encourage to one, know your invite, both to a client challenge group and to a coaching opportunity. What do those look like and have them in a note section on your phone. Uh, the other thing is knowing what you're invited to this month. So that when someone says, yes, I would love more information, you're like, boom, 10 round. I know exactly what I'm sending you. Or if they're like, yes, I'd love more information on the coaching opportunity. You're like, awesome. I know the next coaching call. I'm going to plug you into this call. Or this is the PDF or this is the video that I'm going to send. Just have a very simple process that works for you, that you're comfortable with, things that you like. There's a million tools that we can use, but the best part is that you can pick the ones that work best for you. So have a plan and know what you're going to do and take, take a couple days just to like figure that out because then it gets so much easier when you have 15 minutes to be like, oh, I'm going to send an invite. I know exactly what to say. Or, oh, I'm going to follow up with all these people who have replied back who I'm avoiding because I have no idea what to say to them. Yeah. And that is really hard too, right? When you have all these people who are like, yeah, I love information, but you're like, I don't really know what to do. <laughs> yeah, that's happened already. Yeah. Yeah. So make sure that you have, you, you guys know this stuff and that is what's going to hold you back from ultimately starting conversations with people. Um, so take a little bit of time and make sure that you guys know what is your invite? What are you inviting to? And what information do you send when someone says, Hey, yeah, I'd love more details. Um, that's really important process just to make sure you have that in place and reevaluate that every month. So every month I reevaluate that. Um, I did post a bunch of invites actually in the fam jam empire team page today as well. You can always go to there and you can like kind of copy and tweak it a little bit based on what works for you. Um, the last thing I was going to say something else on that. Oh, you touched on a little bit about some lim limiting beliefs, um, just within the body itself in terms of it being a pyramid, um, and the structure of what it is. And so the thing that I would probably suggest is to really dig into how you actually make a compensation in the business and understand that like the back of your hand. Because once you understand that, when people say, oh, it's a pyramid scheme, you'll know that it's not. And that information will just empower you so much to be able to have more conversations and not feel like, are they going to think it's a pyramid if I'm inviting them? And then I don't even want to invite them because I'm really scared if they say that, I don't know how to answer it. So really understand how we get paid. There's two ways. One is retail and one is off team bonus cycles. The team bonus cycles are not paid out by anybody other than the company. If someone were paying you, so Shaw is signed up with us. Everything Shaw does, I get no money from Shaw. She doesn't pay me anything. I don't get a percentage of what she does. If I did, that's a pyramid. But I don't. Her volume gets calculated from the company and the company gives me a bonus based on the entire team and what they're doing. And so that's how it's not a pyramid because it's actually illegal. Um, but really, just to be clear on Shalane, so, sorry to cut you off. Um, Jen, I, I think maybe you're not on mute right now. Um, we're just hearing I the background her. noise. Yes, per oh, perfect. Yeah, there we go. Um, but understanding the compensation plan will really empower you guys to build a team. And when you want to build a team, that's really important for income because the majority right now, probably 85% of our income comes from team volume and the rest of it comes from retail. And so building a team is really, really important. So understanding the compensation plan is massive tool in your tool belt to be able to just empower yourself and then build that confidence up. So I encourage you guys to understand that. Um, Patrick Realman Shaw, 
He is a really fantastic beach body coach. He has some videos. Um, they're actually in the training, but I, it actually took me probably four or five times to watch it before I actually understood it. He explains the compensation plan beautifully well. So if you want to understand it, Patrick Realman, he's Pat 90 X on Instagram. Fantastic coach. Um, but I love that. And I think that you, you definitely have what it takes to be able to stay at home with the kiddos and actually build an income with it. So we're excited to empower you with all the knowledge and tools to be able to do that. And personal development, Shaw, maybe you can, um, we can recommend something in terms of personal development. I will always recommend Brooke Castillo though, the life podcast, like it's, it's so good for any new coaches that are just starting so good. So that's one to definitely go to. Um, okay. And then we'll, we kind of got off, we got off a little bit of organization of stuff. Maybe we'll just touch on that Shaw of like laying that out for coaches of where to find certain information. And then that'll just kind of empower them too. I'm taking down notes of everybody's stuff. And then what I will do is figure out a solution for, uh, I'll talk to everybody. And we'll just, yeah, we'll simplify the process for you guys. So you know where to go to find what. Okay. Who, who wants to jump in? I see Shaw's pointing at somebody, but her screen's different than mine. So I have no idea who she's pointing at. <laughs> you feel like I'm pointing at you. That means you should step up. <laughs> <laughs> You're pointing at yourself. on my screen. Are you pointing at me? Here I am. I was pointing at you and Megan because I want to hear and Taylor uh, and Megan and Jamie. I was pointing at all of you. I was like. Okay, well, I'll go. Um, so I definitely want to get to Diamond. Um, I didn't even think I was going to get to Emerald. I've talked a little bit about, um, before about how I like signed up as a customer and then I ended up canceling because I wanted to actually coach people. I didn't think like sharing my story was going to get all of this attention from people. And then I was like, wow, I can do this. So, um, yeah, you can. For me, it's been really hard to balance like my two different businesses because I run another business. And so like having a balance between the two and trying to figure out how to implement them both. Like I'm doing so well at my other business, but I really want to do that well at Beachbody as well. So I'm, I'm really struggling with balancing both of them. And when you when you say struggling at balancing both of them, um, is that because you're not working beach body right now? Like you're not giving it attention right now, or is it because you're coming up to roadblocks within trying to work this business? Well, I've been with the other company for three years, so I'm just really comfortable with it. So it's really easy for me to sell it. Okay. Um, beach body. I mean, I've only done the MM 100 program, so I have a hard time because I'm just, I don't have the experience behind me. So I think that I will gain that over time. So I just feel really uncomfortable with it. That's all. Okay. And that's totally fair. What I would say to you is over the next two weeks, try a different workout from a different program every single day. Cause that's really going to help you to understand who the trainer is, how they speak, the type of workout that it is that you can expect. You can go in and look at the program materials for it. So you can see the calendar, see how long it is. You can really like, you will feel so much more empowered just getting, not having to finish the program entirely, but just being able to like scroll through and be like, okay, the workout calendar for this one is four weeks. This is kind of how they built it in. I'm going to try week one, day five. This is the workout I'm going to do today. And one, it's going to be really cool on your social media because you can start to showcase the variety that's available on Beachbody On Demand. And say, I would even go onto your stories and be like, hey guys, I'm going to do two weeks of all completely different workouts to show you guys everything that we have to offer. Could be a really cool story for you to do on social media and not have to feel like you're hiding on like, I have to follow a program, I have to follow structure, I have to show up and lie to my audience. Never want you guys to do that, by the way. Um, be completely transparent with them and let them know, I'm learning this too. And like, I'm, I loved this one. You know what? This workout, not my jam, 
but you would love it if you love cardio, you love low impact, you love dance. Do you know what I mean? So you can really pull what you like from it. And then you can tell people if you didn't love it, why you didn't love it, but why they might like it. And that could be something that would just really empower you in terms of like understanding the programs and the solutions that you have to offer people when they're like, I can't jump or I have bad wrists or I don't have weights at home. Now what program do I do? And sometimes again, that's the whole knowledge is power thing, right? Where we like get stuck in the conversation and I'm like, well, then I don't know what you can do because if you can't do morning meltdown 100, I've got nothing for you. So that would be my suggestion. How do you feel about that? Oh, that's great. No, that's such a great idea. I do really love that. I'm actually almost done the MM100. I'm getting pretty close. So I think that maybe instead of jumping into like just one program, exploring a little, like dipping my toes into a little bit of everything. I love that idea. Awesome. So do that. And then we'll kind of reconvene after and we can see how you're feeling about the different programs and getting into conversations with people. I guarantee you, you'll probably feel a lot more com like a lot more confident going into conversations, being able to offer the Beachbody solutions as well. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. I like that. What day are you on for Morning Melta? 88. Yeah. I know. And I love it so much. Like I have this fear that I'm just not going to like any other program as much as I love the MM100. So I'm like, I just want to do MM100 again. <laughs> And you know what? There's nothing wrong with falling in love with a program and falling in love with a trainer. There's really power behind that. Um, but give yourself two weeks to go explore and date. Go date the other trainers and see who you like. All right. I love that. And like, honestly, okay, so Alicia, what are you reading in terms of personal development? I didn't ask you that. Um, I have a few books and I'm really bad at like completing my books. I'll kind of just like read a chapter. I'll like grab one of my books, read a chapter. I, yeah. So I haven't found anything that's like really drawn me in. Okay. What not do you feel like is your biggest struggle outside of not knowing all the things with Beachbody, like personal struggle, what's the biggest thing that you're struggling with right now? Um... That's a tough question. I have a lot of different things that I struggle with. Um, I like I'm a stay at home mom. And so like, I've gone from this like one extreme life where I was like a party animal and just super social. And now I'm just a stay at home mom. I don't really have a lot of friends. And so like that like lonely factor um, like that's what drew me into beach body. Cause I was like, Oh, these are my people. I need these kinds of people in my life so that I'm not feeling so alone. And I want to be able to give that to other people as well. Like, I don't want any other mom to feel that way, the way that I did. So, um, like social, I get like, I don't really know how to explain that, but yeah, no, it makes total sense. I was like that. I totally was like that. I didn't like play groups. I didn't like going to those things with the kids. Like I didn't, I felt like I was a freaking party animal before I had kids. And then I was like, uh, what is this? <laughs> I love you children. However, um, where's my social life? So I get it. Um, and I think it totally depends on your style of what you want to get into. Um, Something that I really loved was Jen Cicero, You Are a Badass. That was a really good one for me. Um, another really great one is I actually love Sean T's book, T is for Transformation. And what I loved about it was the story. And I think you might really, I don't know, do you like autobiographies? Can you repeat that story? Oh, yeah. T is Transformation, Sean T. Sean T. And then what was the one that you said right before it? You are a badass. This okay, one's I'm gonna write these down. What's that? I'm gonna write these down. Yeah, those are good ones. Okay. And these are my other two um, favorite girls. Stop apologizing. Awesome one. Um, and unfuck yourself. Sorry. I saw her and met him. 
Saw so him. I've That's heard crazy. like, and I've seen so many people reading these books. So these are definitely really popular ones. I need to just like go ahead and order myself. They're awesome. Some books. Um, Cause I've had these old ones just sitting on my nightstand for ages. And so I think that one for for new me. and exciting. This one is so good for anyone who's in your own head. I like Kaylee, this book, honestly. Daring Kaylee, Gre I'll trade you that for your slight edge. Daring Greatly, Brene Brown. Brene Brown has podcasts as well. Um, she really talks about vulnerability a lot. And I think sometimes we all get so much into our heads that this is so powerful and understanding your story and the power that your story has and not having to feel like you're an imposter, not having to feel like you have to be somebody else um, in order to make impact. So that's a really great one too. So yeah, I encourage you, grab a book, try two weeks of different programs. I think it'll be really great. I love it. Okay, Megan, we're going to pick on you. She's like, no, don't do it. No. <laughs> <laughs> How are well, you? I'm good. How are you? Good. <laughs> this is How are you feeling with the biz? <laughs> this is my little pups. Um, well, like... I don't really know where, like, I've only started with Beach Body, like, what, like, two months ago, I think now I did 21 Day Fix, and then I've just started uh, Bar Blend, I'm four weeks in now. Um, I've also been doing a little obsessed with Autumn, because I kind of find that the bar isn't, like, as driven as I want it to be. Um, but, like, as far as getting people interested I've found that's a struggle um I've like I did Arbon a while ago and like I don't like coming to people and trying to get them like pushing them to try stuff if that makes sense um I found that people were always like oh no I don't want to try it um thanks, I have my own program type of thing. And then I kind of feel like that with this as well. Like I don't want to push people to do it. But I also have had cup people like, cause I post on Facebook and Instagram all the time. I have had people come to me um, wanting to try the program. I have a girl that is, I've added to, okay, Ocean, sit down. I've had um, a girl come to me that is uh, my, my boyfriend's uh, best friend's wife who wants to try the program so they're actually coming up this weekend and I'm going to show her it and she's a very picky eater like she does like she doesn't eat like eggs she doesn't eat like she sticks to like chicken fingers and fries type of thing so I need to like show her how to bring the program and the like portion fix into everything and I just don't know how to incorporate it so she can not just eat what she's used to. And that's where I'm struggling. Okay. Other people as well. Okay. And I love, I love that you recognize that you're just, that's kind of your block of helping yeah. people understand like how you actually incorporate that without feeling pushy and without feeling mm -hmm. salesy. And, um, I will say I've been a part of five other network marketing companies. Mm -hmm. Every single one I was a part of, I felt salesy as I'll get it. I felt cheesy, like to the max capital cheese. Yeah. And the difference for me with this is that I'm not pushing a product. I'm talking about a community. Yeah, and I flip the switch and I'm going, okay, this isn't about Shakeology. Shakeology is bomb and you guys will fall in love with it. That's fine. But I don't need to talk about that. I need to talk about the community and sorry, my phone's going off. You need to talk about the community and I need to talk about how this has impacted my life outside of the logistics of it. 
And I think mm-hmm. if we can, if we can look at it from a different perspective of like, what have you gained from 21 day fix? How did that make you feel? If you are doing a program that you don't love, it's okay to not finish it. I just want to okay. give you guys permission because if you, here's my thing. I think every single coach should get on board with every new program launch because it is about the other person on the other end of the screen and not about you when it comes to a program launch 10 rounds massive opportunity to be able to speak to so many other people and to what they love bar blend massive opportunity to launch a craze in the fitness industry to people who love it if it's not your jam totally okay like i'm giving you permission to like try it give it an effort But if eight weeks, you're like, I'm out. (laughs) I'm so over it. I am done. You're not going to move your business forward if you're not in love with the program that you're doing. Flat out. And Mm -hmm. so if you aren't loving bar right now and you're feeling like, I I don't want to sell this to anybody because I'm on week four and I'm just like, no, I'm over it. Like, it's not what I need. I totally need permission to like just dive into something else and challenge yourself another way and showcase that to people. I loved bar. You know, I was really excited for bar after four weeks. I'm ready for more. Like I've stepped, tell people on your social media, I'm ready for more and let them know this is perfect for you. If you need low impact, if you just had a baby, maybe this is the first exercise you're doing after having a baby. Maybe, you know, like find the people who would be watching you who this would be a great program for, but then also hit the other people where you're like, no, I'm ready for more of a challenge. And I'm adding in other workouts right now because bar just isn't enough because Mm -hmm. I have, I've come so far in my own personal journey that I want to push myself to the limit. Mm -hmm. And that's so powerful. So one, I love Kaylee's like, I quit bar. If you, if you aren't loving your program that you're in, this goes for anybody full permission to like switch the gear. I see top coaches do it all the time as well. Like it's totally okay. And be, be open and honest about why. Cause I think that there comes there, there's a whole other layer of trust when you don't just love absolutely everything and you're always on board with everything and everything is great. And when you're constantly promoting that everything can fix every solution that we have, that's when I feel really salesy. And honestly, Mm -hmm. it's just not for some people and that's okay. Like there have been some people where I like at the end of the day, I'm just like, you know what? Totally get it. This probably isn't right for you. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. Right. But know that there's so many more people who are out there that are looking for the tools and solutions that we have. I heard a stat this week and it was insane to me that last year, this time, There was 2,000 people who subscribed to Beachbody On Demand. This year, that same day, 15,000 people signed up for Beachbody On Demand. In one week, this past week, there's been 97,000 people sign up for Beachbody On Demand. That, to me, tells me that this is needed more than ever right now Mm -hmm. in our society. And when I lean into that and I'm in that mindset and I'm like, oh my gosh, that many people signed up and half of those people probably signed up without a coach. I'm like, where are you? Because you need me. I need to lead you. I need to like help and support you because otherwise they're signing up with beachbody.com and they're just getting assigned to like random coaches, Mm -hmm. which is cool. But like, if I can just reach out to those people, because I know people are in like dire need for this right now, if I can reach out to them before they go and take that step, I know that I'll find my people. The other thing that I'll say is like, go look at your invite. If you're feeling kind of salesy and like send it over, you can even send it to me and be like, this is what I'm sending and I don't love it. How can I tweak it? And let's help you find something that feels really comfortable for you. Cause I want you to feel empowered by how you're connecting with people and how that's coming across. Because you'll be able to build so many more relationships when you feel really comfortable with the words that you're using. Mm -hmm. Um, So let's try and find something that feels really great for you. And if any of the scripts that have been shared don't feel good, that's totally okay as well. So we'll kind of find something that feels really natural for you. I think that would be really good. Um, 
And then the other thing, like, I would challenge you guys to like, go for no. Like everyone on here. I literally, when I became a coach, I don't have it with me. Um, I printed out a hundred squares on a piece of paper. It was just a regular piece of paper and it had a hundred squares on it. And every time someone said no to me, I checked off the square. And my goal was to go for a hundred no's because I knew in all the no's, I was going to find yeses. And if I'm going for no, when I get a no, I'm not disappointed. I'm like, sweet, someone said no. The next person might say yes. Awesome. So I challenge you guys to go for the no and be okay with it. The no is not personal. It is nothing against anybody. You are, you are doing incredible things and looking to change lives. And if they don't see it yet, totally cool. Not our job to convince people that this is what they need. Our job to provide them with the opportunity to see it. And if we can open that door and be like, this is what we have to offer. Here's why I think it would be really great for you. But if they don't see it, totally cool. It's not our job to have to convince people. And I never feel like I'm selling because I'm never in a position where I'm trying to convince someone. If someone's just at the end of the day and they're just like, if it's like draining me in this conversation, I'm like, bye. I I can't. Bye. Next. And I chalk it up as a no and I move along. I just can't deal with it, right? So I encourage you guys in those conversations, go for the no. Um, I, I promise you'll probably invite a heck of a lot more if you're expecting a no rather than expecting a yes. Um, who are saying on the feeds about doing home exercises and you offer the opportunity to say no. Yeah, so I mean, <laughs> this is my thing. My thing is like, there's, we're beach body and this is what we do. We've been doing this for years. We didn't invent this because people need home workouts because of the pandemic. We did this because there's so many people who need it just because this is a lifestyle that works for so many people based on their occupation. And one, I believe in the company so much and what they stand for and their vision and their values that I know I can stand behind that with my vision and my values as well. And when someone says that to me, um, my thing most of the time is like, that's great if they can have YouTube videos. I usually ask what they're doing. You know, I need at home workouts. Oh, great. Like what, what are you doing? What are you up to? Hear them out, but then layer it in with the fact that we have structure, we have meal plans, we have community, they get you. They don't get that without anything else that they're going to do. I guarantee you everyone else is just randomly searching up YouTube videos or jumping back and forth, signing up for 14-day free trials from every website they can possibly find. They're not getting structured. They're not going to get results. They're not getting meal plans. They're not getting you. And the biggest thing I say is, can you trust me for 30 days? Ask people if they can trust in you because there's a 30-day money-back guarantee. If they don't love it, send it back, get your money back. Totally cool. But I promise you, if you show up for them and you're accountable to yourself and you, you help them stay accountable to their journey, they're not going to send it all back. They're going to fall in love with it. And they're going to be like, thank you for believing in me and asking me to trust you for 30 days because I needed that kick in the ass. And this is the structure that I needed. So that's what I would say. Hope that helps. Um, okay. We're like, way over time on this if you guys are cool um i'm still good taylor and jamie i know we haven't heard from you guys i don't know if you guys are on the other end of that if you can unmute yourselves if you want to say anything it's always hard sometimes when you have your video off i'm like maybe you, like you you're just listening in and you got something else going on i feel like i feel like they're busy Hey, sorry, I was just changing my little one. That's okay. Do you have a second to chit chat? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Okay, cool. How are you feeling with everything? And what are some of your goals? Um, I'm good. Um, I'm just kind of trying to like take it slow and get to know a little bit more about everything. So I don't know, yeah, like okay. I really want to get the emerald. Okay. I love that. First step right? Um, <laughs> first stop. It's good. We all need a first stop and somewhere to some direction. Um, yeah. 
in in going to Emerald, what is your plan? Do you have a plan on how to get there? Yeah, so um, I'm actually talking to someone right now when they're thinking of signing up like within the week. So I'm hoping that's gonna be easy to get there. <laughs> um, yeah, I just, I find it hard like approaching people because like I've been approached so many times from all these different businesses and it's so annoying. Like, I just feel like I'm hounding people, I guess. Like, I don't know. I just, I need to figure out a better way of how to communicate with them and how to. Okay. Just... I love that you said that. And I feel like this is a common theme with a couple of people on this call. Like, don't feel alone. Um, what I would really suggest is to look at how people have approached you in the past and know that that's the person you never want to be. Yeah. So however, whatever the message was, however they sent it, if it was the very first message they sent you and it was like a long message asking you to buy something, if you didn't like that, don't do that. You know, I always tell people invite how you want to be invited. So if that feels salesy to you and you don't like it, don't do it. I. I am like the person where I don't like small talk. Just ask me what you want to ask me. <laughs> I'm like, if you, if you want me to try a sample or you want me to just ask me, like, don't, yeah. don't tell me you love my cat and you think my kids are cute and then try and sell me. Out something. <laughs> like, I just, I'm not that person. Some people are though. And you have to find yeah. your style. So that one, I think, you know what you don't like. So now it's figuring yeah. out, okay, how do you like to make connection? And what does that look like for you in order to make connections with other people? Here's something that I love doing, um, bless you, Kaylee, that I love doing and it feels a little bit more natural to me before I send someone a message. I go onto either their Instagram or Facebook, depends on whatever I'm using. I make sure that I am commenting on like, five to 10 of their photos. Like I'm commenting on a lot, genuine comments, things that like, it's not just, I love your shirt. It's cute. Oh my gosh, your kids are adorable. That's awesome. Like it's a genuine comment. And I'm looking at like, did they travel somewhere in the past 12 posts? Like what have they done in those like 12 pictures that I can really relate to? And then I'm going to go and I'm going to leave them comments. And most of the time I try and ask a question because then they're going to reply back to my comment. I like a bunch of their photos. And if I'm, if I'm feeling really compelled, I'll send them a message right away. But more times than not, I just save them to a collection and I save them to a collection where I'm going to follow up. And this is really where I'm like, Oh, I've got 15 minutes of time. I'm going to go into my collections and or you can write their name down if you like their instagram handle however you organize yourself i've got 15 minutes i'm going to go into this list i'm going to start at the top i'm just going to work my way through and get as many invites done as i can from people i've already connected with and that for me just feels way more natural and the first message i send them could be an invite like hey sis i'm enrolling right now for my next virtual boot camp would love to know if this is a good fit for you and like, that's legit. My, my invites are super short. They're like to the point, this is what I'm doing. Are you in? Are you out? And that normally comes after I've already connected with people. So that for me feels good. When I send that first message, I know that I've probably already talked to them on their social media in some way, shape or form. And that's not the first thing they're getting from me. So if, um, bye Megan. <laughs> um, if that is something that feels a little bit more natural to you, we can really work on a lot of that. And there's some power hours that really talk about how to build those connections a little bit better. Um, so that when you are inviting somebody, it doesn't feel so salesy or even in the conversation to people, like you're starting a conversation, you're building connection for like four or five days of just talking in the DMS back and forth before you invite. And there's certain questions that you can start to ask about what does their life look like? What do they do? What does the daily schedule look like? There's so many things that you can start to see how their life is lining up. And for me, I'm like, okay, I've got another bootcamp coming up and I totally thought of you. I want you to join my bootcamp with us because I think that you have so much to bring to my community. Like I've said things like that to people before as well, where I'm just like, I want you in my group because I know what you can bring to my group. 
Yeah, and I like empower, that. Like empower them that way instead of just, hey, would you want to buy a challenge pack? Yeah, yeah. So that is a valid, valid concern. I'm just going to like make sure that you know that. And that is something that just kind of comes with time and practice of having conversation with people. And I think that I, I really love that you just know what you don't like and you know how you don't want to show up and the type of brand that you don't want to have, which is really cool. And that's honestly one of the biggest things to kind of figure out. Yeah, so, I think I definitely need to become more organized. Like, yeah. I feel like I'm just everywhere. Yeah. And I think for that, even like jump, we can kind of discuss that a little bit more in terms of like why you're feeling unorganized. Um, and like what those things look like for you in another call. Um, and we can do that. I mean, even I feel like organization seems to be like a theme as well. So maybe we'll do like another call in two weeks on or how to organize your business or something. Yeah, I would love that. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. But I'm really excited that um, I'm excited for you to find your voice. I'm excited for you to really find out you know, what that looks like for you and, um, to really come into your own, but know that that just comes with time and practice and failing over your words a hundred times before you find the right ones. Yeah, no, for sure. So I love it. Thank you for sharing that. No, thank you. Um, are we good here, Shaw? Yeah, I think Jamie's feeling? not feeling well and she was listening in, so she oh. probably gets up with Kaylee after. So feel okay. better, Jamie, but thank you for listening. Yeah. Okay, so I think from all of that, like, you guys are really on the cusp of, like, breaking this thing wide open where you guys are at with your business. Know that everything you've said here tonight, I've heard from another coach somewhere. None of this is abnormal. None of, like, it's completely normal to have the thoughts that you're having. It is completely normal to be where you're at, to be feeling the struggle and frustration of just wanting more of like, just wanting it to be something more. And that just happens with time. So you guys are all in the right place. Um, I really feel like this is a really powerful time in our society for us to be able to have the responsibility that we have right now as coaches to be helping other people to really focus on their health and wellness. And I truly believe it's our responsibility to lead people on their health and wellness journeys. And how cool is it that we can do this all together and you guys have each other too. And you have us. Um, I'm really just going to hammer home right now, personal development. Every single day, personal development has to happen. Personal development, push yourself in the program that you're doing. If you don't love the program you're in, switch it. Go with something that's going to push you right now. Because if you're pushing yourself mentally, physically, commit to a program, commit to a nutrition program, buy the product, be a product of the product. I don't care what product you're on, but make sure you are on something, whether it's Shakeology, Performance Line, Hydrate, Beach Bars collagen. I don't care what it is, but something so that you are a product of the product and that those things are going to help you in your business. I promise you. Bye Taylor. Those things are really going to help you because when you're pushing yourself personally, you will see growth in your business. It happens for me all the time when I get lazy and I get relaxed in my workouts and I'm like, meh, I don't need to cool down, skip the warm up. Here we go. Like if I'm doing any of that in my workouts, my business is getting the same attention that my workouts getting. So pay attention to kind of where you're at, where can you push yourself? Where can you level up personally? And that's really going to help you in your business and your mindset. I'm excited for all of you. And I'm here to help all of you as well. So if we need to do more calls like this, Shaw, I feel like it might be good in terms of whatever it is that you guys are looking for. Organization, I think, is key. Um, and how to organize your business and what that looks like. So maybe that'll be the next one. But do you guys have any questions for me before we jump off? I know this was long. Sorry, guys. You feeling good? I uh, Just thank you so much, Shailene. Like, every time that you come into this space, like and into my space and do stuff with me, you benefit me. And I hope the rest of them 
um, feel the way I do after this call, just super motivated and just a lot more clear on what we need to do next in the next few months. And just thank you for your support. Um, again, the virtual group has been so awesome jumping on that with you. And I think it's been like a nice time to like, and that's, what's great about this guy. Like I got to bond now with Shailene and Tara and Amy and girls that I really did not know that were just in this chat that I, you know, was quiet in forever. Um, and so just next time there's opportunities like this, really consider, um, jumping in there and just getting to know people, right? Like everyone she's touched on, everyone has their own style, right? Um, I was trained by Shaw and then I met Shailene and Jer and then I met, um, Rachel Braga, who is completely far up on the upline as well. And then I met uh, Cassandra and Moxie Poxy. And I mean, I, like you meet these people and you uh, share things with them and you, you develop your own style. So don't think that whatever is in your way is something that's going to stop you. It's probably a personal issue you have to overcome. And I have had to come overcome more personal issues with myself on this journey than I have say then that I have changed lives. So it is part of the process and that's what we want though, right? We want to grow. We want to grow first. That's why we're all here. Thanks, Shailene. You're the best. Thank you. Love you guys. You guys are awesome. Shailene, we love you so much. Guys, like I wouldn't be anywhere where I am today without Shailene and she, like she'll tell, like that's another story. Her and Jer, like I was talking to them. I said I would never coach said I've never coached for probably almost two years um, until I decided to do it for my own health and wellness. And I still said I would never coach. Um, I started sharing my stories, sharing what products I was drinking, sharing the way I was feeling. People were watching me um, butterfly into a new personality, growing into the person that I am becoming. And I'm still on my own personal journey. And today, like a lot of things that I'm going to do for my own personal growth so that I can be a better leader as well. You know what I mean? And also Kaylee really quickly, like, thank you so much. Cause it's very clear from every single person on this call, how impactful you are as well. And, you know, like Shaleen said, everyone has their own styles and, you know, I did train Kaylee and I have a way different approach to things than she does. And it's really great that we have leaders like these people, every single one of you in this group, because you know, we can lean on each other and I can't stress what she said enough that you really should blossom and, and reach out to all these other coaches because maybe the way that I am, am, am saying to do certain things is not your style. Maybe it's Kaylee's or Shaleen's or Tara's or anybody else. So please, please follow them, reach out to them, talk to them, ask them where they got, how they got to where they're, they are. And just remember that we all as a team our tribe and we are going to be successful. We're going to do big things. We're going to support each other. We're going to push each other. We're going to grow. And I'm so serious when I say that, like I'm so lit up. And every time we do calls like that, I'm so fucking sorry for swearing grateful because like, I can't hold it in. And like, I have sisters and brothers and I love you all. And like, you know, let's just do some serious things. And Shalene, thank you for pouring into our team and we really would love to do another call with you if you can, you know, we appreciate your time. We know it's valuable, but we love you and we definitely need you. So thank you. I got you guys anytime. I love, I love listening to you guys. I love getting to know each and every one of you a little bit better. It's hard for me to individually message everybody all the time and get into everyone's DMs. But um, when we do it collectively like this, I feel like there's a lot of power here. And um, I just, I get so much excitement off feeling this as a team because that's what this is, right? We don't have to be individual. So encourage you guys, if you want to run challenge groups, reach out to people in Fam Jam, ask if they want to run a challenge group with you. Um, you know, ask people what their struggles are, connect with everyone on social media, and really just start to build your relationships outside of just your personally sponsored coach. Um, and this team, when you start to get outside of this, you will start to open your horizons and it will help you to build your own brand, I promise. So. Thank you guys. Love you guys. Have a good night. Bye.